Still trying to get this camera focus down. Started growing my hair out about eight, nine months ago. And um, I haven't had long hair since I was in middle school. And I kind of forgot uh, how annoying it can be. Actually, I think my hair is longer now than it was in, in middle school, to be honest. Like in the back. I think in the front it was probably, it's probably been longer than this before, but... Or actually, maybe not. I don't know. How's it going, everybody? So, today, I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite locations in Masada. Actually, it's not really one of my favorite locations. I haven't been there in well over a year. But, I do like it, it looks really pretty, and I thought it would make for some nice videography. Actually, I'm not really sure, if I remember right, so where I'm trying to take you is a shrine that sits up in a hill, kind of behind the city. But if I remember right, the trees uh, obscure the view just a little bit, so... And especially now, since it's in the spring, they might be blooming. I actually tried to go to a different location earlier today, but it was really windy and also the sun was really, really bright, so nothing was really working out. So I decided to just uh, ditch that footage and I'll go back there another day when I have a better microphone and uh, at a better time of day because it doesn't look great on the camera at around noon. So anyway, without further ado, let's get going. We're gonna drive close to there and then walk. So, this is the Masada River. This isn't actually our location, I just parked here and now we're gonna walk the rest of the way. So, let's go. And here we are. So we're gonna be going kinda up that way. Fortunately. Trying to be quiet. Fortunately, it's not very windy right now, and there aren't a lot of people here. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna kind of talk while I climb here. Um, the first time I came to this shrine was uh, shortly after I arrived here in Masada. I came here with a few of my fellow ALTs because we'll get a really nice view of the city from up here. It's not even really that high up, to be honest. It's just that Masada is so close to sea level. Well, it is on sea level. You can actually see the sea from here. It isn't really that steep, but I injured my knee about a month back. So, hey, hold on. It was out of focus for a second, I think. Anyway, I injured my knee about a month back, and so I haven't really been able to do a lot of running or walking or anything too vigorous. So this feels this feels really nice. It's also pretty warm out today. Um, actually, most of the day it was actually pretty hot. But now it's just kind of nice. I'm already getting winded. All right, so we are just about here. <sighs> so 
So it's not even a very big shrine. And not a lot of people come here. But I know it's hard to see because of the sun. But you can get a very nice view of the city. So what you just heard is the evening chime. It happens every day in the summer at 6 p.m. and in the winter at 5 p.m. We also have a noontime siren. Yes, a siren, like you would hear if a bomb were going off. I've heard that um, some other rural towns have one that goes off at 5 a.m., so I'm glad I don't live in one of those towns. I've heard that that chime goes off to test the disaster warning system, but I'm not entirely sure if that's true, so don't take my word for it. I've also heard it's for farmers to tell them that it's time to end the day, but I don't know if that's true because I feel like a farmer would know when to stop working. That being said, it is a really nice chime, and uh, I don't know, what does it tell me? It tells me I'm gonna have dinner in like an hour? So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed taking a quick look at our shrine here. I almost never come, but uh, I wish I did more often because it's really nice and it's refreshing. I wanted to come outside at least for a little bit. And I'm not sure when I'll be able to again because it's gonna rain for the next couple of days. So I'm gonna walk back down now, but I'm not gonna film because I kinda want the walk to just be for me. So see you later. So, we are down from the shrine now, and this is that same river from earlier, just on the other side of the bridge. I actually come running here a lot when my knees are in better shape. And actually, if you keep following that road down there, it'll take you into the mountains. And, hopefully, I'll be able to take you there someday. But, for now, we're gonna go home. And we're back. Anyway, that's gonna be all for today. I hope everyone enjoyed the vlog. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll figure something out. I'm trying to do these every day. Yeah, I guess that's about it. So, um, have a nice day. <laughs>